Hi, and welcome to this section of the Calculus 3 Tutor. In this section, we're going to conquer the topic of Green's Theorem, okay? Uh, basically, a really smart guy, a mathematician with the last name of Green, invented a theorem that actually makes things easier, so you should be happy about that. Certain types of integrals we'll look at in a second can be simplified quite a bit by using Green's Theorem, okay? Uh, actually, this section and several sections ahead of us are going to have uh, different flavors of, of vector uh, theorems that are going to be useful for you and we'll tackle them one by one and work problems and show you. Now Green's Theorem and the Divergence Theorem and Stokes Theorem and a bunch of these other things that we'll, we'll conquer in the next few sections are actually very very useful to you. When you study uh, you know, fluid flow or aerodynamics or electromagnetics, anything with a vector field theory you're going to find in your textbooks that a lot of times they will use Green's Theorem or Stokes Theorem or Divergence Theorem or uh, the fundamental theorem of line integrals, they'll use those things to prove um, whatever it is they're trying to prove and to show you how to, how to use those vector um, concepts that you're, you're learning about in those classes and apply them to your problem. So it's really good to have this in your bag of tricks to have a really good understanding of it because two years from now if you're looking at some concept in mechanical engineering or something that involves this, um, you won't be blown away by, by looking at Green's theorem and we'll kind of know what it means so it's pretty important. Okay, So what we're going to do is uh, work with the following. Let's say you have a, a vector field F, okay? We've been talking about vector fields the last several sections, so it's just the same old thing. confined to be in the xy plane. So it's a simple, simpler kind of problem that Green's theorem is going to, going to simplify for us. It's only going to be vector fields in the xy plane. What it's going to do, we, we know how to integrate uh, you know, uh, over a path uh, of any vector field. We know how to do that. We've been doing the line integrals, okay? We know how to do the closed paths uh, if, they're, if the line integrals satisfy certain conditions, okay? What this is going to do is it's going to give me a nice handy dandy way to do closed path integrals uh, along in the xy plane of a vector field in the xy plane and it's going to show us how to do those easily. So let's say uh, you have a vector field f Okay, uh, that's only a function of two variables. Let's call them x and y. Okay, so that's what I'm just telling you. The vector field is a simple one. It's only a function of two variables. So if this is the plane here, the little arrows are in, in the plane here. They, they don't point up or down. They only point somewhere in the direction of this plane, x and y, because they're only a function of x and y. Okay. Now, let's say you want to uh, integrate along a curve C, same thing we've been doing all along, counterclockwise, this is important, and actually it's, it's so important that I'm going to actually underline it. You want to integrate along this path counterclockwise Uh, that defines a region R in the xy plane. Okay? So words, um, there's a lot of words here. All it says is you have a vector field F. It's a function of only two variables, so it's kind of a simple field that lies in the xy plane. You want to do a path integral along a curve counterclockwise, okay, uh, in that region, and uh, it's